Good morning. It's the morning for a video with a wine man. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you about this Clodora from Gerard Bertrand and what makes it so amazing. But first, I need to tell you why Gerard and his vineyards specialise in organic and biodynamic wines. Why that is so important. So back in 2002, Gérard Bertrand, who's been described as one of France's premier winemakers and has also won many, many accolades for making incredible wines, he read a particular book in France that was dedicated to biodynamic farming practices. And he decided to take his own property, Sigalus, and make it biodynamic as an experiment. It only started with four acres in that time, but he was so driven and so determined to make the best expression of place for his individual wines. He started with Sigalus and has expanded ever since from then, now covering 16 of his estates, which is incredible if you think about it. Now, the important thing with organic wine and biodynamic wine is that they cover many, many different facets of the world and basically of farming. And the important thing that Gerard wants to, to do is to show and express in his wines what he classes as a sense of place. The French call it terroir, but that can include a whole load of different things. He wants it to be called a sense of place. Now, his particular wine that I'm looking at today, this is his Clodora, 200 odd pound a bottle, and there's a very good reason for it. This is from his estate in Minervois, and it's a blend of the classical four varietals that you get in the south of France. But what makes that stand out and be so incredible and command such an amount of money per bottle? So it's all about the soil. It's a, the soil, it's just a little thing, as many, many people think, but living soil. This is the important thing, where there is a total dedication, a total fascination and an obsession with soil that is alive, that is allowed to produce incredible purity of fruit. This is really important when you're making organic wine and biodynamic wine. You want the soil to be alive, to be producing incredible grapes that then turn into incredible wine. So obviously with I think it's now something like 2,000 acres that Gerard has as biodynamic. It allows him to produce incredible wines like this. But the reason for that is when it comes to his whites, for example, he knows in his experimentation and within two years of Sigalus being classed as biodynamic and being changed from just a normal estate, making wines in an organic way to fully organic and fully biodynamic, he saw an incredible difference in the freshness and also the acidity in his white wines. It really began to zing through and produce the most incredible quality. And then what happened with the reds is it produced immense finesse immense quality again of, of richness and, and depth and, and it allowed the vines to show a much greater degree of maturity in terms of the taste and the flavour and that really began to shine through and Gerard was so convinced that he now as I say has extended his biodynamic range to 16 of his estates so now this 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 is not a quick process not at all this particular wine takes many, many hours of tasting, going back and forth, coming up with the ultimate blend. A little bit of Sansa, a little bit of Morverdra. What we'll do, how should we add in a couple mil more of this? Just to come up with what they consider the ultimate expression in terms of that particular sense of place. Because he wants it to be a Grand Cru wine from the Languedoc. Now there isn't any Grand Cru wines in the Languedoc according to a very old classification. But this one, if you ever want to have the ultimate wine, this is one. Now I haven't opened it deliberately. I'm on my 75 hard process of 75 days of no alcohol of any kind. So I'm not allowed to taste anything. And I'm about, well, this is the 44th day now, so I, I'm really torturing myself because I look at this wine every day and I think, oh my God, I would love to taste this. I wonder what it would be like, but I'm savouring that. This is going to be one that I will taste on the 76th day and we'll see what it actually tastes like there. So one of the reasons for planting and making everything in a 
organic and a biodynamic way. It's because Gerard wants to have an, a respect for the environment. He wants to have a respect for the soil and for the universe and for the world because he, he has no less than six different governing bodies from vegan to Demeter to uh, organic society to um, be friendly to biodynamic. You know, I mean, six different guys who are all making sure that he makes everything in the most incredible way. Now, that's not easy to come by. And it does take an awful lot of, of pressure on you. It takes an awful lot of work. And there's a huge team. I think it's something like, I, I don't know, 350 people who are all involved across all of the different estates. Whether that's picking by hand, whether that's putting cow horns into the soil filled with special cow dung to keep away spiders, whether it's his incredible little water butt that spins the water in one particular direction to draw in the goodness and all of the energy from the soil and the earth, and then it spins it in the opposite direction to draw in all of the majesty that comes from the sun and the moon and the stars. These are all important things when it comes to biodynamic. And that water then gets misted across the vines in a special bit of pixie dust, which I mean, I'm, I'm joking about this, but it is serious. It's deadly serious. When you want to produce a biodynamic wine, there's so many things that go into it. But it's being in perfect harmony with the soil, with the respect for the land, with wanting to produce the optimum level of fruit and quality of that fruit. But having, having that synergy that love of the vine and the, the wine and the grapes, and then having a love of a beautiful wine that can come from that synergy. This is the incredible power that Gerard has, the incredible commitment to producing the best quality of fruit that he can do. Now, I'm gonna share his particular video a little bit later on, but I wanted to give you my interpretation of that, and I'll put out some new videos as well as we go through, but I hope you've enjoyed my little expose, if you want, into biodynamic organic wines and Gérard Bertrand and his entire amazing team in the south of France. Thank you.